Well, why don't we start stretching, and then if those three show up, they'll just jump in. Um, so we're going to start with a uh, with that bend, bending forward stretch. Um, so kind of pivoting at the hips and just going straight forward as far as you can. Um, remember, no bouncing, and kind of extend those arms as much as you can. If you can't extend your arms, just be bending at that pivot point on your hips. Um, we're going to go for thirty seconds, so I'm timing. Um, Maybe I'm done. There we go. Um, so I'm going to start the timer, and you guys are bending with me. All right. So going forward as far as you can, and get a nice deep stretch, but like nothing crazy. Just want to warm up the spine. Cool. Ten more. All right, now go in the opposite direction, same amount of time. We're just gonna go either straight, kind of get that spine nice and straight. If you can lift your arms above your head, do that. We're gonna go for 15 and then we're gonna tip side to side. So go ahead and start, the, start that one. Here we go. Just as high and as long as you can be. Keep it nice and straight. Straight, straight, straight. Now go on to one side or the other, you pick. Just let that whole side stretch out nice and long. Get ready to switch. Switch the other way. Again, just let that nice long stretch. Nice and long. And right, back to center. And now we're going to do the twist. So either legs crossed in front or legs, uh, if you're on the ground, kind of over, and we're going opposite leg. And we're going to hold that one for 15 on each side. So you guys pick whatever side you want to start on. Here we go. And again, no bouncing, just keep it nice and even. If you look straight ahead, it'll straighten out your neck a little bit too. If that's too tight, then just let your neck go the way you're twisted and that'll kind of make it not stretch. That's 10, five more. Cool, switching sides, switching legs. Oh, crap. Really twist that spine. Three more, two, one, cool. Okay, so we're going to start with some planks. Um, so 30, 40, I'm reading my own crappy writing. 30, 40, 40, and then 50. Then V-ups, bird dogs, and then Russian twists at the end. So if you're a seated athlete, you're doing front crunches, twist crunches, um, hovers on bird dogs, I think. And then Russian twist, you're going to do a front crunch for the entire time. So I'm guessing that's going to be 30 seconds. I'll time it out and see how it goes. Um, other than that, everything is pretty straightforward. So if you're going to do a plank with me, we're going to start here. First one is only 30 seconds. Nice and easy. Um, and we'll do 30 straight, and then we'll go straight to the ups. So if you're going to do a plank, remember, keep your back nice and flat, nice and straight. Um, back up a little bit. Um, don't let your body sag. If you need to take weight off, just drop your knee. If you're holding that front crunch, you're holding it for the entire 30 seconds. So just kind of core up and keep it cored up um, all the way down through your hips. So here we go for 30 seconds. Up and away. Keep it nice and straight. Nice 
nice and even. That's halfway. It's 20. Keep it nice and straight. Back is rigid. Keep that core tight. Three, two, one. V ups or a twisted crunch. If you're doing the crunches, um, I'll switch you at the five when we get to five. If you're doing V ups, remember legs are up. You're just going up to your shins. So bring all of yourself up, get your shin, go back down. Here we go for 10 of these guys. One. Two, three, four, five, twist that other way, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nice, bird dogs, pointing dog. So it's the one arm opposite leg and you're holding that and then you're just bringing it in tight and then extending it again. Um, if you're doing hovers, let's hold the hover for the entire time because these go pretty quick. So if you're doing the hover, you start when I point my leg out or my arm out, whichever. Um, we're doing five of these on each side. So here we go. Ready? You guys are hovering. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep hovering. Switch sides. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Okay, Russian twists or a front crunch again. If you're doing a front crunch, make sure your spine is nice and straight. Don't sag into it. Stay nice and firm the whole time. Um, Russian twists, remember, you're just kind of seated back and you're just, ooh, I can use a water bottle. You're just seated back and you're just tapping the ground on each side. Super fast, not super fast, but controlled fast. So we're gonna do 20, 10 on each side. If you're doing that crunch, hold that crunch the whole time. I'm gonna time it as well. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That was only like 25 seconds. All right, two minutes. 30, 40, 39, 40, 40, 40, 40. Drink some water. Um, so Russian twists, you probably already learned this. Um, the steeper you make your legs, the harder it is for your core. So if you have them out here, it's not quite as bad. If you really core them up, but you don't tip forward, Makes it a little bit harder. So if you want to make it harder, that's a way to make it harder. Or throw in some really heavy weight. That makes it harder too. Two minutes. Um, so for planks this go, we're going to go 40 seconds. Um, if you're doing a front crunch, you're going to hold it for 40 seconds too. Um, yeah, because we're going to go 30, 40, 50, 50. So, on this last two, we'll break it off and give that little break in the middle well, towards the end. Um, but for right now, you're still holding the whole time. You have about a minute, ten, oh, about a minute left. So if you're doing planks, kind of find your spot. If you're doing the course the, uh, or the uh, seated, 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 um, get ready to do that too. About 35 seconds. And then we're going for 40. Okay. About 10 more seconds. That's wrong, more than 10 seconds. Ah, 
All right, here we go. So planks for 40 seconds or the front crunch for 40 seconds. Ready? Up we go. Keep that back nice and straight. If you have to take some weight off, just drop like one leg down. But if you drop a leg down, just keep everything still tight. That's 20 seconds. Keep it nice and tight. Keep that core tight if you're seated. Three, two, one. V ups or twisting. V ups, we're going to go for 10 of those guys. Here we go. If you're doing the core, if you're sitting and twisting, I'll switch you at the five. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Switch sides. Six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, bird dogs, or you're hovering for that whole time. Bird dogs, you pick your side. I'm gonna go five and five, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, hold the hover, switch sides, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Russian twists for the win. So remember, if you want to make it a little harder, draw those knees in a little tighter. And we're going to do 20. If you're holding that front crunch, you're going to hold it the whole time because it ends up being about 25 seconds. So here we go. Ten on each side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Beautiful. Two minutes. Water. You got it. I'm gonna grab more water. Now we're going to go uh, 30, 40, so now 50 seconds. So 50 second planks, which will be 10 on either side. So flipping to the side, if you want to make it a little more difficult. Um, if you're doing that seated crunch, you're going to go 30 off 10 on 10. Um, but I'll let you know when we get to that 30. Um, so you know what to do. About 20 more seconds. My timer is hanging up being glitchy. Gonna work, you guys. Hold on. And you're halfway there too, by the way. Okay, here we go. So front planks or front crunches. So 50 seconds at the 30, we'll flip to the side if you wish. Um, and we'll just keep that core nice and tight the whole time. So here we 
Go. Keep it nice and tight. If you're gonna switch, we're gonna flip up here in about seven seconds. If you're holding that front crunch, you're gonna let it out here for 10 seconds. Okay, switch to your side. You guys let that crunch out. Keep that side nice and, uh, nice and straight. Okay, switch sides and go ahead and core that front crunch up again. That's it. V ups or a twisted crunch. All right, I'm gonna turn this way. All right, here we go. Ten of these guys. And one, two, three, four, five, six. You're switching sides, sorry. Eight, nine, ten. I got excited counting. Um, bird dogs or hovers. Bird dogs for five on each side. Here we go. You pick your side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, switch sides, hold that hover. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely. Okay, Russian twists. Or you're holding that front crunch the whole time. Here we go. Ten on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Lovely. One more set, exactly like that one. 55, 56, two minutes. Drink some agua. So 30, Flipping to the side, 10, 10, or 30, let that front crunch go back on at 10 after that. V ups are the same, bird dogs are the same, Russian twists are the same. What did I say? I can't remember what number I said. So that was about 50 seconds. So you got about a minute, minute 10. You're doing planks. So on this last set, just make sure that you're, if you're doing planks, you're keeping them really, 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 really rigid. Um, don't let yourself sag because you're tired. Um, don't let yourself kind of waggle around too much. Sometimes that gets, what's happens, you get kind of tired so you start bridging a different way. Just think like a beam, like that beam doesn't bend at all. It's just nice and rigid the whole time. If you're seated doing that crunch, um, seated, I gotta stop saying seated. Seated, make sure that you're tight from here to here. So it's like you're focusing on this entire bread basket right here. That stays as cored up as you possibly can. When you're doing that, don't drift back and don't drift forward. Keep your spine like as straight as you possibly can because that's going to elongate you and keep you nice and strong. So we have about 10 seconds. So if you're doing planks, get ready. If you're doing that crunch, just keep it tight the whole time up to the 30 and then I'll let you know when we split well, off through the sides. All right, so here we go. Front crunch or a front plank. Up and away. Just 
this carpet's really nice, guys. I'm just letting you know. That's 15 seconds. Hold that crunch as hard as you can. Hold that plank tight. Get ready to switch over. Flip into the side. Let that front crunch out. Just let it all relax. Get ready to switch over. You guys get that front crunch again. 10 more seconds. Good, beautiful. V ups or a twisting crunch. I will not forget to tell you to switch this time. All right, here we go. 10 of these guys. <laughs> And you're twisted, uh, start that crunch as soon as we pull up, ready? And go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I forgot to tell you, switch. If you haven't, everybody else hold it. We'll let them catch up. Now go, eight, nine, 10, see, I told you I was gonna tell you and then I saw a bright light just over there. Bird dogs or hovers. Here we go. Whenever you're ready, pick a side, um, five on each side. So here we go. If you're doing the hover, pull up now. One, two, three, four, five. Hold that hover, switch sides. One, two, three, Four, five, Russian twists to just round out the day. All right, Russian twists, or are you doing that front crunch again and you're holding it the whole time? Here we go, 10 on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Lovely job. Okay, we're gonna stretch it out again. So going back to that front pivot, nice stretch. Um, should feel pretty good, should feel like we get a little bit of loose going in our spine. Um, so we're gonna hold this one for 30. So. However you want to do it with your hands is up to you. Um, I like to hold my legs. You don't have to, you can spin if you want to, but whatever you want to do, we're going to go for 30. Here we go. Straight forward. Now you should feel like you can bend a little deeper. Just don't hurt anything. Don't bounce. 10 more seconds. Good. Now let's go the opposite, all the way up. Um, so if your arms will go up, great. If not, just get that spine straight. We don't want our core tight at all. So just like jelly, think jelly. That's, what, that's a good thing. Um, so if your arms are up, go up as high as you can. We're gonna go for 30 on this one. Here we go. Off and away. And I'm gonna have you drop to the one side or the other for 10 seconds once we get to 20. Keep it nice and tall. Now pick a side, just drift over a little bit. Get that side stretch going.
Go the other way. Keep holding it. Good. Okay, let's do that twist. So you pick your leg, whichever side you want to go. We're going to go, let's hold this one for 30 as well on each side though. Um, so here we go, just put that arm, drape it if you want to, or you can push on it. Um, again, if you want your neck stretched out more, look straight ahead. You don't look way, the way you're twisted. Here we go. I'm going to hold this for 30. That's about halfway. Keep it twisted and stretch. Three, two, one, switch sides. Again, drink that arm. Put your arm back and then twist into it. Here we go. Keep that spine as straight as you can. About 15. Holding this one 15 seconds longer than last week, just to really stretch it all out. Remember, keep that core loose now. Three, two, one. Nice, very nice. So that was the 